right, so the other day I said, why would someone take the time to make a plastic chair? And they said it's called passion and just love for what you're doing. And then someone said, no, they only do it to make money. Well, at first, somebody has the idea to do it because they just love the idea of a plastic chair. If you talk to some of these people that make plastic chairs, I said, before I started my company, I thought they were the most beautiful thing I ever saw, and I just had to make them myself. So I started making them. Just for the love of doing it. And then pretty much the company gets bigger. And then pretty much the company's intention then is just to make money. But at first it's for the love of making products and great things. Then it expands and then it escalates. And next thing you know, they're just there to make money. And then the shares get thinner and thinner over the years. And then just like Circo, it fizzles out and it goes out of business. But it all starts out for the love of making like great products and things. And then it ends up all about money. When the company gets too big. Then pretty much the fun's all over and as we said, these chair the materials for these chairs only get more and more expensive and they slowly disappear over time forever. Which is a sad thing to think because these chairs are nice, I like them. I always enjoy them. I can't remember who it was, but the one guy said, I never collect plastic chairs, but I can see why you enjoy them. Okay, we got a lot of plastic chairs here. I'm going to have to go down to the street and ask guy where we got the white Biggie's Adirondack, because I would love a white Biggie's Adirondack. That one is not really the best color in the world. Alright, so we're done.